Netflix a Zack Snyder zombie movie set in Las Vegas sounds like big dumb fun, right? You can bet on it. Army of the Dead streams on Netflix on May 21st and it's every bit as subtle as it sounds. Dave Bautista leads a squad of mercs tasked with fighting their way along the Vegas Strip and into a casino, busting open a vault and escaping in a helicopter. Sounds simple, right? Except there's an army of the dead who've given up slot machines in favor of chomping human flesh. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but it doesn't stay dead. Director Zack Snyder fully leans into the Las Vegas setting, mining both Sin City's infamous iconography and its tacky tone. Army of the Dead opens with blood-dripping Vegas showgirls tearing high rollers apart in SLO Mo under giant neon pink credits, while a jazzy cover version of Viva Las Vegas plays. Because of course. Entertain your brain with the coolest news from streaming to superheroes, memes to video games. Our heroes are a multiracial, multi-skilled motley crew of tough nuts, in the style of 80s combat crews from Predator or Aliens. There's even a sketchy tag along corporate spook. Okay. So this is the kind of flick where characters are introduced by the type of weapon they use to explode zombies into gory chunks, but the film actually puts a bit of effort into making them real and relatable. The charm of the cast has to do a lot of heavy lifting. Omari Hardwick and Ana de la Riguera provide the amiable muscle, while the squad is rounded out by a zombie-blasting YouTuber, a coal-eyed icy blonde and a nervous safecracker. Hilarious Matthias Schweighofer steals every scene playing the kooky kid with the knowledge to open the vault, although he's given a run for his money by Tig Notaro's stogie-chomping chopper pilot. And following films like Blade Runner 2049, Man Mountain Dave Bautista once again delivers a winningly sensitive turn as the conflicted veteran. If you're thinking about Die Hard right now, you're not the only one. Netflix Snyder selects the musical soundtrack with his usual subtlety, which means as well as Elvis Vegas-themed classics were treated to Bad Moon Rising, The End, you know, from Apocalypse Now, and a climactic tune that's either fiendishly ironic or just plain boneheaded. That's the thing with Army of the Dead, it has a lot of fun nodding to other films, but there comes a point when you wonder if it's homaging aliens or just ham-fistedly grabbing scenes from James Cameron's 1986 war, monster classic and just eating them in at random. Aliens, for example, builds to a scene of noble sacrifice that feels heartbreaking and truly earned, Army of the Dead takes that scene and tosses it in at a point where it barely registers. A couple of characters' conversations clue you in that Snyder is having fun with the action genre, including a scene involving earlier missions that borders on the surreal. But you still never know what's homage and what's a simple lack of inspiration.